and then we'll get ready to add that into the goulash. Hey guys, Chef Mike here, and welcome back. It's been a long time, and it's actually a tough time for all of us right now with this virus going on. I know a lot of us are self-quarantined like we are here. Uh, we're in Southern California, and we uh, can't go anywhere except for the store and the gas station and the banks like a lot of you guys as well. Um, I wanted to make a meal for everybody. Uh, we're thinking about everybody. We hope everybody is uh, safe and taking care of their families and uh, hopefully the virus doesn't get you guys and like it doesn't get us and we all pray and help that everybody is okay and everybody's safe. Uh, one of the meals we have today, it's, it's just a real simple, real cheap. I know if you've been going to the store, like I've been going to the store, it's been kind of tough to try to find some things. Um, what I did notice is that what I'm making today is easily obtainable. Uh, it's been at the stores every time I've, I've gone for milk or eggs or essentials. So I decided to make a video today. Um, and it's really a bean soup casserole. What do we call it, Maddie? Goulash. Goulash. Try spelling that word. So it's real simple. It doesn't. It doesn't cost a lot of money. It goes a long way. It's good uh, comfort food, I guess you should say. And I'm gonna show you how to do it real quick. I've got 11 cans of different things that I bought, not just beans. I've got ground turkey that I've already cooked down. And I've got the cut up celery that we're gonna be adding. So let's just go through it, and I hope you guys enjoy this. I hope you guys try it. Uh, you're gonna love it, actually. It tastes really good. So let's start from the beginning. I'm gonna turn this on, about a medium heat. Dump my big boy can, which is pinto beans. Everybody knows pinto. I'm gonna dump that bad boy in there. Right on top of that, I'm gonna dump all the celery. Okay? Then we can throw some of this meat in there. Then the next can is gonna be country style baked beans. Don't those taste awesome? Get that in there. And then we have black beans. Gotta have black beans. Then we got garbanzo beans. Those always make a different taste going on, right? Then we have red beans. Then we have a big can of diced tomatoes and green chilies. See how that looks? See how dicey they are? You don't want the whole one. You don't want the stewed tomatoes. You want the dice because it's easier to be mixed around. Then we have some kidney beans, dark red kidney, kidney beans. Then another can of maple and cured baked beans. Really, it's just what you like, what you prefer. I like that brown sugar taste that that'll give. Then we have two cans of cut string beans. It's always tasty. I started doing this lately and I really liked it, so I kept doing it. That's two cans, or you can buy one big one. Come on out of there. Okay. Then we got one more can of the diced chilies. So that's two big cans of those chilies, okay? Talk about taste. That's what makes it great. Then we got some garlic salt. A good amount because it's got to go a long way. A little bit of Italian seasoning because we're Italian and we put all everything gets Italian seasoning. And then we have some pepper. Okay. Then we're going to get the long spoon, which is that's a long spoon. And we're going to just kind of mix that all up. Doesn't that look tasty already? And it's not even hot.
And as that warms up, it's going to be easier to move around. Now, one of the things that I like doing, back up a little bit, Maddie, is I'll get a cornbread going. Okay, so when it's dinner time, I'll get this cornbread going, put it in a pan. All you got to do is follow the simple directions. This is cheap. And then what I like doing is getting honey and butter, throw it in the microwave, zap it real quick so it kind of melts together, take the cornbread out, cover the whole top of that cornbread, and then serve. Big bowl and cornbread. Awesome dinner, cheap. That's it, guys. It's as simple as that. You saw how long that took me. Under 10 minutes. Now it's going to take about an hour to cook. Remember, you have those celery in there. That's the only thing that's the hardest that takes time to, to cook that down. Um, I want to thank you guys for tuning in. Thank you to the subscribers that are out there. A shout out to Fly Setters. Check them out on YouTube. They got some nice pictures of catching some fish again. Um, we wish you well from our families to yours. God bless you. Stay safe. And I hope you guys make this and I hope you enjoy it. God bless.